hyrejuve.ai community. Uh, so why don't you uh, introduce yourself and, um, you know, for those who don't already know, anyway. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dr. Axel Schumacher. I'm the Chief Biotech Officer of Rejuve Bio. And yeah, I'm here today at the GI conference in Panama with this Desmond. And uh, of course, we both work in the field of longevity. Yeah, why don't you uh, tell like uh, what you've actually done in longevity because that's pretty awesome stuff as well. <laughs> I don't know if it's so awesome, but <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm a, I'm a geneticist and uh, I worked for almost 30 years in the field of epigenetics, meaning how um, the environment is via a molecular mechanism uh, regulating our genomes, so by DNA methylation to switch on uh, genes or switch them off and a lot of these mechanisms have to do with our um, aging processes and I was studying these for decades for example in Alzheimer's and back in the day so my research group was the first one who discovered epigenetic abnormalities in the aging process that may lead to Alzheimer's disease and um, my early research then led to the discovery of uh, what is now called epigenetic clocks. So we identified uh, epigenetic patterns, as I mentioned, DNA methylation patterns in mice that change with the aging process itself. And um, using these DNA methylation markers, we could basically measure how old an organism is in their biological age. And that led to what I call the epigenetic theory of aging, meaning that there are certain epigenetic mechanisms that, that uh, increase the speed of aging, potentially, uh, higher organisms like mammals and humans. So yeah, that's what I did. And, um, yeah, pretty now, much. And, and now I'm using AI to uh, identify patterns in aging processes so that we can live longer, healthier. Yeah. yeah, so pretty much one of the uh, pioneers of the uh, epigenetic sciences and uh, as mentioned, uh, kind of an important uh, pillar in uh, AI systems that we're developing uh, at Rejuve uh, and that will be uh, eventually integrated uh, into our app as well. Um, so I guess on the theme of uh, beneficial general intelligence, um, how do you think that um, you know, BGI will most impact the longevity space or just um, the progression toward AGI, uh, what is kind of one of maybe one of the first uh, emergences that you can see? Oh, this is, uh, I think we are living in, a, in an absolutely fantastic time now because for the first time in human history, we have the possibility with these next level AIs to do things that we never could do before. I mentioned before, as an example, DNA methylation patterns in the human genome, those are very intricate, complex patterns. And for us human beings, even if you put the brightest minds on the planet, on it, we are just not able to understand it because it's so complex. We have so many different um, uh, connections where those molecules interact with other molecules and it's an unbelievable complex, in what I call event space. So there are trillions and trillions of trillions of things that can go on in our cells and uh, make us uh, older on the biological scale. And AI can really dig into these patterns. And uh, this is where really, that's really beneficial. So where we can really say that's a beneficial AGI to take all of these, for us, not connected data points and connect them somehow and find patterns meaning humans are not able to see. And I'm really looking forward to this and uh, this is what, what we do, what, what you guys do and this is just an absolutely awesome time to be alive, to be, be there and, and, and observe these changes. Yeah, it's definitely an amazing time uh, yeah, to be alive and to be in this field. Uh, so I guess one uh, fun question, uh, how long uh, do you want to live if there's no limit? <laughs> <laughs> I guess I, I want to live forever. But the good thing is uh, often I hear people saying, oh, but well, that's uh, you get bored and uh, I don't want to live forever for whatever reasons. But the good thing is um, what people most miss is if you have option 
to live forever, that doesn't mean you have to live forever. If you get bored after 500 years and said, oh, I have seen everything, so let's end it here, you can still do this. So I'm quite optimistic that we can reach soon this uh, longevity escape velocity to potentially live forever. And uh, I will try my best to do exactly that and help other people to do it as well if they want to live forever and then we all see what comes.